Even though San Francisco has some of the best food in the world, people still love to come here and complain. They say it's impossible to find a decent slice of pizza in this city. New Yorkers, you especially love to say this. I should know. I made that same complaint recently in my last video about San Francisco. It made a lot of people very upset. I got this huge backlash because of it. There were so many comments telling me I was wrong that I realized I must be missing something. So I decided to take a step back and ask myself, if there is indeed great pizza here in San Francisco, how would you go about finding it? That's the question I'm here to answer with this fine group of people here today. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! yeah. yeah. When you go online to find the best pizza in San Francisco, you just get a bunch of random lists. No shade to any of these websites, I just, I have no idea how they came up with their ratings. There's no scoring, there's no methodology, no ranking, and none of them are brave enough to crown an actual pizza champion. But I figured the pizzerias that came up the most frequently on these lists must be pretty good. So I counted them all up, and the top three were Tony's, Little Star, and Pizzeria Delfina. Now, to do a really good job with this, I wanted to bring in a couple of pizza experts. Thankfully, the last video I made about San Francisco, the one where I said there's no good pizza here, it caught the attention of a couple of guys who are obsessed with pizza. Jake's Pizza Love pop-up has served pizza all over the world, from the middle of the desert to the top of a mountain. His wife told me four out of every five meals he eats are plain cheese pizza. George is a real deal pizza influencer. He's got like a million pizza followers on Instagram where he's reviewed hundreds of slices of San Francisco pizza. Together, these guys know more about San Francisco pizza than anybody. So they were able to tell me about three newer pizzerias that I should add to my list too. Joya, Flower and Water Pizzeria, and Square Pie Guys. But this video isn't just for experts, it's for the people. So I asked three more friends to join me. Steve moved to San Francisco 20 years ago. A former surgeon for the Humane Society, he's now a full-time artist. Lindsay is a coworker of mine. She moved to San Francisco around the same time I did, about a year and a half ago. The thing I like best about her, she always keeps it real. Kathleen is a San Francisco native that grew up in the sunset. She loves her home city, she loves pizza, and she demanded that I tell you she was very upset that Signore's pizza was not included in this video. Sorry Kathleen, Signore's is fine if you've been drinking, but we're trying to have some standards here. Now I'd plan the optimal route between each pizzeria so we could just Uber around really quickly. We'd rate each pizzeria's most iconic pizza. No toppings. Finally, I made these special pizza scorecards so that we could keep everything standard. Oh, and by the way, taste is the most important thing here. That's why there's five different taste categories, and I'm gonna double the weight of the taste categories in the final scoring. So, with our scoring system in place, we were ready to hit our first pizzeria, Tony's. Tony's is a San Francisco classic. It's the pizza stronghold of Tony Gemignani. Tony does every style under the sun, but we were here to review his baby, the world championship winning margarita pizza. Head chef Oscar was great too. He gave us a tour of the kitchen, he personally made our pizza for us. As always, great stuff. Guys, how does that look? It looks bubbly. Beautiful. The cheese looks good. Cheese. Yeah. My body is ready. I usually eat pizza with a fork and knife, but I don't want the internet to destroy me. <laughs> the fresh mozzarella and the sauce are beautiful. I love it. I feel like it's a little watery. The uh, sauce is kind of bland. With that fresh mozzarella, it is a little wet. A combination of very clean, pure flavors. This is like the salad of pizzas. It tastes healthier. What did you guys think about the margarita pizza there? I wasn't really thrilled with it. No. I like it a lot. I think it's great for the style. You guys know that it won a gold medal as the best Neapolitan pizza in the world, but if that's not your thing. In Naples. Yeah. That's like when people are like, it has a 99% of Rotten Tomatoes and then I hate the movie. What are your thoughts about pizza? What makes a good pizza? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not a really big fan of pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite food? Uh, it would be meat. Hey, we're here. Have a nice lunch. Let's go. Next up on the list, Pizzeria Delfina. Now, this pizzeria was originally spun off from Annie and Craig Stoll's restaurant of the same name, Delfina. Although, Pizzeria Delfina has definitely eclipsed its namesake in popularity with five beautiful locations now. 
I personally love the vibe of this place. We went to their location on California Street. The managers there were super cool about helping us set everything up. Adelfina, hands down, great pizza. And that's a heart. That's a heart of cheese. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, this is fantastic. The crust is firm and the sauce is tastier, you know. That first bite where it all pulls together with the cheese, sauce, and oil is incredible. I gotta shake shit up. Listen, the flavor of Tony's was phenomenally better to me, but the crust and texture here beats them by a mile. When you blend the sauce and the cheese together in your mouth, it's <laughs> so close. <laughs> After Delfino, we headed down to Hayes Valley to hit up Joya. So Jake is our director of communications. Uh, he's calling every single pizza spot ahead of time. If I do my job right, the pizza will be ready a few minutes after we arrive. And that's good, you know, because I don't want to just walk in and have to just start stuffing my face immediately. Give me a minute. Let me settle in. Let me feel the ambiance. What do you guys think about hot pizza versus cold pizza? Ooh. I mean, they're both good. Well, I heat it in the microwave. If it's, you know, oh, no, don't yeah. do that. <laughs> All right, we're here. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Joya's first location was in Berkeley, and it really took off, so they opened up this slice shop in the city. It's kind of unique in the fact that they serve up mostly New York-style slices. It's amazing how much pizza they can actually serve out of this little shop. Anna and Victor totally killed it with the service. I definitely recommend you check this place out. It's a classic New York slice of pizza, it's great. I don't know what classic New York style pizza is, but I love the cheeses on this. Loving the crispy crust, the flavors, high quality ingredients. You know when you used to go bowling as a kid and you get that bowling alley pizza and it's like greasy and it's oh, good yeah. and it's hot? I feel like I'm eating like the upscale version of that and I love it. For Americans, this is cheese pizza. This is like what we go hard for. Somebody says like, San Francisco doesn't have any good pizza. like. San Francisco does have pizza merits, and then everybody just needs to take a step back. The thing is, is if you live in San Francisco, we know who we are. Exactly. So, you know. Here we go. There is. Next spot, let's go. After we wrapped at Joya, we quickly headed out to the mission for our next pizza place. And how are you feeling right now? I have a great capacity. The next spot is Little Star Pizza here in the mission. Have a great day, sir. You know, I wouldn't mind a beer at this one. Specializing in deep dish style cornmeal crust pies, Little Star Pizza is a San Francisco local's favorite. In fact, it appeared on more of the best pizza lists than any other pizzeria. Beautiful. Wow, thank you, Roddy. What is steaming? I know that smell. trouble with the cornmeal crust. Uh, I, I am enjoying the sauce a lot, but leaves a little to be desired. See, I'm a real Little Star fan, but, you know, I'm open to other pizzas, but I think it's lovely. It's like a tasteless whatever cheese. It could be like plasticky cheese. I have no idea. I love that there's like bright chunks of tomatoes in there. I think that's really good. Well, it's our first deep dish of the day. It's pretty cheesy. Overall flavor is not necessarily wowing. Sauce is the bomb.com. I'm into this. The style is unique for sure, and after making our assessments, the pizza crew and I took a short walk down the block for our next mission stop, Flour and Water Pizzeria. Thomas McNaughton's Flour and Water has been a staple of modern Italian cuisine in San Francisco for 10 years. So when he opened up this pizza-only outpost on Valencia Street, needless to say, the foodies of San Francisco were anticipating something great. staff there for helping make sure this part of the day went really smoothly. Delicious? I think it's maybe the best Neapolitan we had today. It's not a Neapolitan pizza, but uh, I guess it's like neo-Neapolitan pizza, kind of. These pizza guys get pretty particular. And this pizza is amazing. This is very good. No, I don't know if it's the best, but it's damn close. My second bite was definitely better than my first. My, my very first tip, I think, had accumulated a little too much moisture. By this point of the day, we've been eating pizza for several hours. 
but everyone was pacing themselves, so we were ready for our final destination. Did you say you just ate pizza? Though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. You guys are so cool. We caught the last Uber of the day up to Square Pie Guys. So, Detroit style square pies are the name of the game and the name of the pizzeria here. Opened just a few months ago on Mission, this place looks great. The fact that the upstairs pizza office has this open view to the rest of the place is totally unique. It's a vibe I can only describe as pizza meets hustle porn meets Instagram. How's it smell? Good. The crust is amazing. This crust is like heaven scent. It looks thick as hell, but it's actually really light. I'm into it. The cheddar edge is always amazing. I wish there was a little more sauce because I'm a saucy boy. Nothing better than the inside of this most moist, delicious. Oh man, I love it. That's kind of a sexy uh, set of comments there. I think. Uh, you want me to redo that? Is it weird? <laughs> You mean, yeah, but we're gonna keep it. <laughs> this is a very strong contender for the best first bite of the day. Great explosion of flavor. It's wonderful. All right, scorecard, scorecard. A humongous thank you to this incredible team of pizza pros that helped us discover the best pizza in San Francisco today. Thank you guys, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got ourselves a winner. We are here at Square Pie Guys. This is Mark. Yeah. This is Danny. These guys run this place, and I'm here to tell you guys how you did in the best pizza competition. Square Pie Guys is the best pizza in San Francisco. Yeah!